In this video, we are going to go over how to create and configure a master page. Master pages unite multiple booking pages into a single point of access for your customers. You can use master pages to combine booking pages of multiple team members in your organization or to combine booking pages for different locations or channels. To start, go to Setup and click on the plus icon in the master page pane. In the pop-up, first define the master page's public name. This will be your master page's title and will be visible to your customers. This will also be the master page's label within your Schedule Once account, unless you define otherwise. Next, create your master page link. You can change the page URL later if needed. Then select the scenario for your master page. The scenario determines the scheduling flow. The first scenario is rule-based assignment. With this scenario, customers select a time and the booking is automatically assigned to a booking page according to rules you define. With event types first, customers first select which event type they require. Then they will be presented with the booking pages that provide that event type. Once they select a booking page, they will be presented with the booking page's availability. With booking pages first, customers first select the booking page they prefer, then they are presented with the event types that booking page offers. Once they select an event type, they will be presented with the availability of the booking page they selected. With the fourth option, Booking Pages Only, customers will select a booking page and are presented with the booking page's availability. This option is useful if you do not use event types and there are no shared settings between your booking pages. Finally, upload an image or icon for your master page. This image will be visible to customers when they access your master page. When you click Save and Edit, you will land on the Overview section of the Master Page. This section gives you a summary of your Master Page's main properties. Here you can also edit the Master Page's theme, locale, and access share and publish options for the page. The next section is where you determine the way bookings will be assigned to booking pages in your Master Page. This section is different depending on which scenario you selected for your Master Page. Let's first look at setting up this section if you selected Rule-Based Assignment. Here you can create static or dynamic rules for how bookings will be assigned to booking pages. With dynamic rules, booking assignment is defined per event type offered in your master page. This allows for flexible setup that can be different per master page. To create a dynamic rule, click Add Rule. Then select an event type you want to offer in your master page. Now decide who can provide that event type, either a specific booking page or a booking page that is a member of a resource pool. Resource pools group booking pages together according to department, skills, territory, or any other characteristic. With resource pools, bookings will be assigned to booking pages based on the distribution method in your resource pool. To learn more about resource pools, watch our video, Introduction to Resource Pools. If your event type requires participation from multiple team members simultaneously, you can create panel meetings by adding any number of additional team members. All additional team members are added to the primary team member's calendar event and are CC'd on all notifications sent to the primary team member. Once you have created your rules, you can decide in which order event types will show on your master page by reordering your rules. Now let's move on to static rules. With static rules, bookings are assigned according to global settings. Meeting providers are determined by the existing associations between event types and booking pages. To set up static rules, first choose how bookings will be distributed. With the first option, Pooled Availability, customers visiting your page will see the combined availability of all the booking pages in your master page. Once a time is selected, the booking is automatically assigned to an available booking page with the longest idle time. The second option, Pooled Availability with Priority, is similar to the first, except that bookings will be distributed according to a priority you define. Customers select a time and the booking is assigned to the available booking page with the highest priority. The third option is Find Member by Time. With this option, customers first select an event type, then a time, and then a booking page. This option is useful if you are using scheduling for internal purposes or if you have coordinators who will be scheduling on behalf of your customers. Once you have selected your distribution method, select to which booking pages bookings can be assigned in your master page. Now let's talk about the Assignment section when you are not using rule-based assignment as your master page scenario. 
If you are using any of the other three master page scenarios, the assignment section is where you can simply select which booking pages will be included in your master page. Now let's move on to the labels and instructions section. First, to find the public labels for the different entities in your master page. For example, if you are using booking pages for different locations, write locations or write team member if each booking page represents a different team member. Next, customize the selection instructions that will help your customers make the right selections during the scheduling process. Press Save, and let's move on to the Public Content section. The Public Content section is where you define the information that is available to your customers when they visit your master page. You can add an image or icon, name, title, welcome message, contact information, and links to your social media profiles. This content will help your customers get to know you and your organization and give them more information about the meeting they are scheduling. Your master page is complete. Now that we understand the building blocks of Schedule Once, let's look at some common scheduling scenarios.